This is Evan Irwin live from Charlotte and Yeah, I won. I played versus Red Lark Blink. Okay. And so, um, so tell me what happened in game one. Uh, the first game, pretty much, let's see. He opened up with turning to, turn two, suspend, uh, Clouds Gate, I into the north, and kind of built up the mana. And I played, my first play was turn four Siege Game Commander, which he answered with turn four Wrath of God. So that answered the question of what type of Blink deck he was playing, for the most part. Um, the game kind of drew out for a little while and uh, I had Cloud Thresher holding off Avon Riftwing, uh, yeah, yeah, Rift Watcher, uh, and then he had a Vensner, and then he had six mana and a Mirror Entity. He drew a seventh land, attacked with everything. I played Cloud Thresher, I take two, um, I ended up chump block the Vensner, trade the, with the Entity, and he's got a, uh, a Riftwing that hits me for, uh, or Avon. <laughs> Man, these guys are, they're all, they're all the same cards. They're all two power fire. Two power fire hit me for seven. I went off the entity and I ended up, it, that was its last little turn, but he had to kill me in two turns. He was pretty much exhausted on cards and Siege Game Commander. <laughs> yeah. Uh, game two, I was minus one Garrick, plus one Void, uh, minus four Wall of Roots, and a Malt Disaster, plus three Extra Pate, plus two Retachroma. Uh, in the second game, I kind of I ramped Mana out. He was doing the same. Uh, I played a Siege Gang. I have Extra Pate, a Chroma, Siege Gang Commander, so I'm going to kill him with a Chroma. But I need to make sure it's a 100% kill, so I waited and didn't do anything for a while. He wrath the, wrath the Siege Gang away, and then I Extra Pate the Wrath. He, had, uh, he only had Flyers at that point. But like once I killed the wrath, like it kind of it let me just kind of it let me kind of just expand and like so I didn't have to worry about wrath of God because it's obviously really good and this is yet another not super good matchup for me. I kind of came out on uh, Red Chroma just pretty much does that. So um, was there anything you did with him? Uh, I probably would have brought in my third void because he does have a, have a lot of fives, but. I figured I wanted some smaller guys because he uh, he did end up boarding in flash freezes, but that game was that game was played pretty well for the most part. Although I, I had a good game plan in game two, but the first game was was close and it was good. I don't think I would actually change anything. I, it was it was pretty solid both players. Uh, I won that round. Uh, went way more according to plan than the previous round. I uh, won 2-0. They weren't relatively close. I was playing against blue-green fairies. Uh, I assume it was the Spectral Force, Scrib Ranger combo. Uh, he didn't survive long enough to get a Spectral Force out, though. So, uh, so tell me what happened in game one. Uh, game one, I suspended two Rift Bolts on the third turn. Uh, dealt him six. Um, then Rite of Flame, uh, which he... He had no response to. And then I had another Rite of Flame. Uh, grape Shot for five, Grape Shot for six. Um, and then some other burn spells later on uh, was, was enough to beat him. Earlier in the game, he had a third turn Pester Might. Uh, and during my upkeep on the fourth turn, he attempted to miss Blind Cleek. But I shocked the Pester Might, and it was his only fairy in play, so I two for one him. Uh, game three, a similar thing happened. I had him down to four life. Um, and he had two Spell Stutters sprites in play and he attempted to cleek on my upkeep but I had a sulfur blast so I three for one him there and then ended the game with a big grape shot nice. all right so how did you sideboard him why um let me check my notes here I sideboarded in three mana barbs um the sulfur blast and the molten disaster I did that because I sided in the molten disaster and the sulfur blast because it's an aggro deck uh, and lots of little creatures um, and big casting costs are tough for spell sprite to deal with, and it didn't appear as if he had any hard counters. I assumed he had Mystic Snake, um, but 
he didn't ever show it. Uh, I cited in the mana bars because fairies tends to be very mana intensive. Uh, tapping out for a Pestermite, tapping out for a clique or a, a Spectral Force or whatever. Um, and he doesn't have many hard counters for me to have to deal with. So th th it would have gotten me the extra uh, little bit of damage. I never drew them, so it didn't end up mattering. Uh, I took out the Empty the Warrens because I felt like there were stronger spells in my, in my sideboard for four mana, like the Mana Barbs. Uh, I took out a Swath and two Howling Mines because I just had nothing else to take out. So that's a, it's a really good matchup for me because his first play is really on turn three. Unless I happen to spell stutter, he happens to spell stutter a shock or something. Um, but it's a really good matchup for me because he doesn't play any spells, and by that time he's already he's already halfway dead. That's great. Thanks, man. Good luck. Yep. Thank you.